Hi, my name is Bart van Dalen. I'm the chef and owner of Belha Cafe and Betsy on Capitol Hill. And we're here today specially for you guys, for everybody to just enjoy Stella Artois. Stella Artois, the Belgian beer. Yes, the Belgian beer. I think it's all the way up there to be the best of the best. It's the original one. It's one of the first one who conquered the whole US. There's a little bit of story behind it. Where does it come from? Oh, we're going to Leuven. Where is Leuven? Easy, just outside of Brussels. Everybody knows Brussels, center of Belgium. What's so special about it? Ha, where does it come from? Mm -hmm. Let me think about this. Yes, the right season, exactly, because it's called Stella Artois. Stella from star, so we're in the Christmas season. The spirit, the holidays, everything around it. And Artois, this was the brewer. It was that simple. What did he do? He invented something unbelievable beautiful. The first Belgium lager. And now we can all enjoy this for so many years already. Even in really, really bad times. Yes, I'm not wearing a mask, but that's because I'm far away enough from the camera to enjoy my Stella because I have to show it. I have to taste it, I have to smell it. It's the season for it. So, what are we doing? Opening, drinking? Hell no, we cannot do that. This is the time for festivities. What we do, we actually are using a glass. Wrong again. We're not using just a glass. We're using a chalice. It's a glass who actually is designed to have the perfect pour. The perfect pour, just to understand why we do this, I will show you. It is very, very simple. Have your glass. If it comes out of the dishwasher, take a little step. Just rinse it off with ice cold water or put some ice in there just to make sure that you have no dust particles or anything in there. And then a fresh beer right out of the fridge. Ice, ice cold, beautiful. Open it up and we're gonna pour this. I'm gonna give you a little tip for this. It's very simple. What we do is this beer has been in the box, so this might be a little bit dirty. We just made our glass clean. Let's not put them just together. We're just gonna pour this on a little angle to really create the perfect bubbles, to have all the aromas that the brewer was intent to put in the beer coming out. So 45 degree angle, and it's fun. You can do this at Christmas time, at New Year's. Who can pour the perfect beer? Go to you guys and go and find them. Find the beers, find the chalices, and then start pouring and have fun. Live the life. You pour 45 degree angle, a little bit away from the glass. If you're almost on the top, you're gonna just tilt it back. And there you go. Everything out, everything in. And that's what we call the perfect pour. Stella Artois, a beer to live, to enjoy, and all the bad times that we have right now, but can be enjoyed with a lot of, lot of good stuff at Valha Cafe, on our Betsy rooftop. We're doing it all to go also. You don't find them in the store? Give me a call. Come and pick them up. We are doing also the to-go menus. We are cooking waffles. You're gonna see the next segment. It's gonna be amazing. How do we enjoy a Belgian waffle with a Stella Artois? Prost, enjoy. Um, yes, I, we have our masks on, we're here, but we will take it off because I have my crew who's just far away from us at a safe distance, so, because we're doing a big segment. It's about Stella Artois. Stella Artois is the Belgian beer. Ah, yes, I am from Belgium. So everything with a B is a little bit better. So Bart, Belha, Cafe, and then we have Brussels waffle. Unfortunately, these are Liège waffles. This is the other part of town that we, we think about. Then we have actually waffles that we make specifically normally for New Year's. This would be your grandma who makes this. She starts a little bit earlier, I think just after Christmas, and then we have waffle bites. We're gonna make some beautiful desserts. Stella Artois is a beer to season and is a beer for the season. Um, the Brussels waffle always tastes a little bit better, but nobody tells you actually that recipe and we'll give you some recipes later. But what's going on with this is, instead of using a little bit of water, we use Stella Artois in there. That's what makes it rise a little bit higher, makes it a little bit better, 
and taste a little bit better. So, key ingredient, a humongous waffle iron. This, um, we have a lot of different waffle irons at the restaurant. So um, we use them for a lot of different varieties from sweets to savory. This is why Stella Artois actually tastes really, really well with all the different waffles. Everybody goes like, yes, but Stella Artois and waffles, um, don't we eat waffles in the morning? Yes, in the US, we do eat waffles in the morning. In Belgium, we eat them in the afternoon. So this is where the connection actually is really, really made. You go to the Grand Plaza in Brussels and you go and sit on a terrace. What does your pa do? He drinks a nice Stella Artois, perfectly poured. And what do we do as kids? We would then just have a nice Brussels waffle. So let me tell you just a little bit the story about Brussels waffle. Everybody calls it a Belgium waffle or a Brussels waffle. Somewhere, somehow, it got here in the US at the New York State Fair, um, the World Expo at 58. And they were calling this Brussels waffle. Everybody goes like, Brussels waffle, but we're at the Belgium stand. So therefore, I think four years later, they came back and then they just sold them as Belgium waffle. Therefore, we know them now as the Belgium waffle. What's the distinguish with a Brussels waffle? Three and five, that's the big thing. Yes, very difficult waffle irons to fire. And this one we have over here is actually a Liege waffle. Liege waffles are a little bit, a big difference. This is a liquid that you actually pour in there. It would be more like this. So it's a batter. And the Liege waffle is actually a dough. So it has yeast and a lot of this unbelievable, beautiful pearl sugar. And the vanilla waffle is kind of like the cousin in between because they didn't have the waffle iron and the yeast to make those things. So they go in between, between a dough and a batter. What's always good with waffles? Chocolate. We get in the season of cranberries. We get crackle. We get chocolate pearls, chocolate puffs and all the beautiful things. We're gonna make some really good desserts with this. It's one thing I invented for this season and it's actually on our to-go menu also um, for New Year's Eve. It's called a pistachio waffle with cranberries, chocolate mousse and chocolate sauce. So watch out, here we go. So Brussels waffle, I just made one. What we do in the US is this. In Belgium, there is no this. We don't have maples and we don't have maple syrup. So Brussels waffle, we don't eat them with maple syrup. If you want to, they always are very good. We make something, it's called actually Stierebutter in West Flanders. I have no translation for this, but it's kind of like dark brown sugar, a little touch of cinnamon and butter. And you mix those things together and then you spread this on. It has to stay at room temperature. So watch this, we have a lot of different small things coming, recipes, ideas, fun stuff, because it's the holidays. We've been locked up for a while, but it doesn't mean we cannot have a Stella Artois, a beautiful waffle, and enjoy the family. So, Brussels waffles for me, I think the best one is always with strawberries, whipped cream, and some beautiful decoration. So what do you do with a waffle? You just bake it fresh, make your plate a little bit hot, put it on there, oh, but it's so much work to make in the morning. No, it isn't. Make them in the evening, bake them like this, and just give them a touch of heat in the oven. 350, three, four minutes, everybody happy, and you work. Put the works out. I mean, like Madame Pape from Nero, a cartoon in Belgium, would always bake a whole stack of those beautiful waffles. Decorate them with a little bit of whipped cream. Who doesn't love whipped cream? Voila. I think strawberries go really, really well with this. What I always like with, to do with the strawberries also is I leave some with the green and some without the green. Why? It is just more festive. It just tastes a little bit better. It's a little bit more fun. See, you can strawberry slices. Voila. Strawberry sliced on the other side, it works also. And I would say this is something you can do with your kids at home. You know what? This is where 
the parents, the grandparents can enjoy the Stella Artois and the kids can just go at it. Make your own waffle, nothing more fun. Here you go, mom did the waffles in the evening, bake some or bake some fresh in the morning and the kids have a go to it. What is better on Christmas, New Year's or anything like that? So, some choco puffs on there. Belgium chocolate. We call them the pearls. And we have to finish this off with a little bit extra love from Belgium. That would be chocolate mousse. Or chocolate flan or anything close to that. So we're kind of making like little Christmas trees there. And a little bit a Christmas tree have to have some pearls in it. Some little lights and chocolate sauce. A little drizzle. Voila. I think it looks like a landscape a la Christmas book. So enjoy this with Stella Artois. The perfect Belgian beer, I would say. Like it's everybody goes like, yeah, but we know Stella Artois for so long already. Um, but I go like, yes, but we're the trendsetters. We started this. Um, we don't drink it out of the glass, we drink it out of the chalice. Um, we actually really can drink a Stella Artois with pretty much everything. So therefore, I'm gonna make a quick other waffle for you, and that's gonna be a pistachio waffle. So you're gonna see the difference, and we're gonna bake one. Let's put this one a little bit aside. And it doesn't, sorry, yep. Put this one a little bit. This one can stay here. You good, you got it. So, pistachio waffles. Iron, very, very simple. I need to get my spray, where did it? So, Pistachio waffles, iron, yes, we still do it old way. Just a little spray on there so they don't stick on there. And a little canal or a little scoop. Canal sounds so good, eh? it's kind of like fancy. See, this is the batter that I made yesterday. I let it rest for a night. And so it has fresh cranberries in there. It got um, candied cranberries and dried cranberries. Pistachio, pistachio paste, almond paste, so a lot of good goodness. And what's gonna happen to those, they are like, I think the perfect Christmas waffle. So red, green, and then, you know, like this. If you want to, you always, this waffle can actually switch around. You don't have to. Why do we need this? This is the one that we need normally to make good waffles at home. If you do Brussels waffle, the little secret of that, is to turn it around. So even if your waffle machine doesn't turn, why don't you use a towel or something and try it? You put the batter in, pour it in there, take it and turn it around and bake it upside down. Even if the knobs are there, just try to put it on a bowl or a stand. You're gonna have so much more better waffles. Your batter, instead of just sticking and then has to rise, it actually sticks, turns, so has to rise and then you have this nice, if you look at this in a waffle in the inside, when I break this, you have this nice holes in there of air who come from the yeast, who actually was working. And where do we get most of the yeast from? A little bit from the Belgian beer, the Stella Artois. Waffle eye, no rush also. Don't go at too high of a temperature. I'm working at 200 degrees Celsius or about 350 Fahrenheit. Get that waffle iron hot, and if you spend some money and you really like to make waffles, spend some money on a good waffle iron, but preferably one who's um, a little bit heavy. This is cast iron actually cut out, so this is why it really makes a little bit of a difference. I understand you cannot have this at home, but you still can have a Stella Artois. Secretly, anybody wants to look in there? Dun, ta -da -da. You see? They're coming, they're coming, they're getting better and better. Here you go. So, what do we serve with this? We go back. 
with a little bit choco mousse and we're gonna make Christmas trees. One, two, three, four. Whoever saw a Belgium chocolate Christmas tree right here at our presentation for Stella Artois. Just come up with this. So, and then we take some pearls. Because the Christmas tree need to be decorated. I know, I, it needs to be Smell TV. Like Smell TV would be the next big thing. They always talk about HD TV, no. We need to get to Smell TV. This is where we really gonna get excited. Look at this, the steam coming out. That means they're almost done. I almost hear them whispering to me. They're calling. I want to be out of here, nicely roasted, nicely cooked. So look at this. This is kind of like, it looks like the soil. It's, it's a gruyé au chocolat, or it's actually the bark of the chocolate with a little bit caramel. Oh, 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 oh. Look at it. Oh, fantastic. I feel like I'm Belgium, passed through, uh, through the US, and we're back because cranberries is something that we don't directly associate to Belgium. We have like close to something like that, but not really this beautiful things, a product from the US like that. Therefore, I think every country has their beautiful things. Stella Artois, Belgium. Cranberries, I think it's still the US who wins this. And what do we do? Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. A little landscape and a dot of more snow, more snow right here or whipped cream. Voila, voila. I hope this makes you hungry because it doesn't make me only hungry, it makes me really, really thirsty. So I have this beautiful fridge over here and I think we're gonna go just Belgium style or chef style. Hoppa! There's always a, a way to open it. Do we drink it out of a bottle? No. We put it in a chalice. So, Stella Artois for Christmas, Stella Artois for the holidays, for any holiday. It goes with your beautiful Belgian waffles. So, don't forget Brussels, Liège. Waffle bite, the waffles for from grandma who come from New Year's, and or special with Stella Artois for Christmas, the pistachio waffle with chocolate mousse. Enjoy. <laughs>